How's it going guys? Today we're taking a look at Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the original PC version of the game which I have on disc running on my PC. Now as you can see here, I put it into my computer, my desktop, I booted it up, everything looked fine. And then you'll see here in just a second I get a screen that pops up. More or less telling me I need a 16-bit version of Windows to run the game. <laughs> Not to be deterred, uh, I went online and I got an ISO file. And I extracted extracted the file here, you can see, and uh, it booted up just fine. So, again, for, th for those of you who are going to accuse me of uh, pirating the game, uh, I own the game physically, and uh, at this point the game is considered abandonware, so it's, I don't even think you could buy this game anywhere. So I just want to show you here, I'm going through the settings, you can see... Uh, the ISO file included the 3F, 3DFX files as well. Uh, back in the day, you needed a, a 3DFX, a, a Voodoo card, to run this game at its max settings. So you can see here, I've got it dialed all the way up to 1080p. Uh, it's got the lighting effects, the fog effects, things that we take for, for granted, obviously, in 2021. But as you can see here, this you got to remember, this is back in 1998. And, uh, you know, back in the day, while my PC ran this game, it was on, like, the lowest settings, like, extremely pixelated. I remember trying to run it at the higher resolution without a 3D effects card, and it was, like, one, two frames per second. Really choppy. And not only that, you can get this game on the PlayStation, the original PS1, fairly cheap. I saw it at my uh, retro, used retro gaming store recently, and I almost picked it up, but now I'm not so sure. I'm kind of glad maybe I didn't pick it up, because as you can see by this gameplay footage, maybe it's not apparent to you guys that aren't familiar with the game, but any of us that played this game back in the day, most of us couldn't afford, you know, a 3FX chip or a, a voodoo card, a graphics card. Uh, very expensive hardware to buy back in the day. Uh, so to be able to run this game on a modern PC with the settings dialed all the way up, it's just absolutely incredible. There's no pixelation. Uh, again, running it at a high resolution here, it's extremely gorgeous looking. I just, I'm absolutely floored. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be able to play this game with Three, the settings dialed two, all the way up. Like it's, it's a totally different game. So you can see here uh, a little bit of a sunset in the distance. And again, I understand for maybe some of you younger gamers out there that never played this game back in the day, you might be asking yourself, you know, what the hell is he talking about? But believe me, uh, if you saw what this game looked like uh, without the graphics card, it's it's quite different to say the least. Uh, again, you can see here, uh, you know, very sharp looking. You can see at the gas station back there. Uh, some some lighting effects again back in the day uh, lighting effects fog effects this was all relatively new in the video game industry so to see that in this game and this is uh, not to mention a lot of you guys probably haven't played this game this this really is probably one of the best need for speed games of all time which is it doesn't get talked about very much today a lot of people sort of seem to seem to have forgotten about it but uh, I certainly haven't forgotten about it. It was a game that I played quite a bit back in 1998 and 1999. I also have Need for Speed High Stakes, which came out in 99, a year after this game. So I may try to maybe boot that up tomorrow and see if I can get that running as well. But yeah, I just more or less want to... Oh, you see, I got stuck there. <laughs> I just started playing this for the first time. Probably been 15, 20 years since I last played it, maybe longer. So uh, I'm using the keyboard here. I'm going to see if I can maybe rig up an Xbox 360 controller and see if I can get it running with this game rather than uh, using the keyboard. But I more or less just wanted to show you this gameplay footage, uh, kind of like a little bit of a tech demo, if you will. And uh, just to show you, you can certainly get these games running on a, uh, on a modern computer. Again, look at the lighting effects here, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can see the blue hue uh, hitting the road. Uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous, so in my eyes anyways. I remember what this game looked like on my computer back in the day. And it was, oh God. <laughs> so you can see here, uh, this is the summit level. Uh, we're rocking the blue Shigera. 
And uh, yeah, again, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Fuck, it looks sharper than uh, any, any game I'm running on my 360 or my PS3. On my monitor I have here with my computer, you, you, this video doesn't do it justice because I'm just recording it with my camera. But if you guys could actually see what this looks like. Again, if you're interested in playing this game, uh, I'm not going to tell you where to find it, but if you do a quick Google search, I'm sure you can find the ISO file. It's about 450 megabytes. It takes about 10 minutes to, to download and install. No hiccups at all. Uh, running it in Windows 10. When I launched the game, it wasn't full screen. I'm like, what the hell? But then once you, once you get into the race, uh, it, it goes to full screen. So... A very tough game. Uh, the cops are absolutely relentless in this game. I, I totally forgot how difficult this game can be. <laughs> yeah, so you can see going into the tunnel here, the lighting looks absolutely incredible. For 1998, oh my god. This was a, this was a technical marvel back in the day. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing this for the next couple of days. So the last level I want to show you here, uh, or I should say the last uh, the track, <laughs> Three, two, is probably the one, best go. the best showcase for what the 3FX card could do. You'll see on this, uh, I think it's called the Aquatical level. Uh, it's almost reminiscent of uh, Cruising World, where there's an area you go underwater. And uh, I'll just let you guys watch it here. You can see on the on the right there a bit of a waterfall. Again, the lighting effects here. Again, you guys laugh at it now, but a lot of us knew what this game looked like on a high-end computer, but we never really got a taste of it until now. Yeah, you can see the lighting effects here as well. Beautiful skybox, looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. I can't get over this. Eat your heart out, Steve. So you can see here coming up, we're going to be entering the... Uh, it's kind of like an aquarium tunnel, if you will. This looks gorgeous as well. I, I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like this on the PlayStation 1. Good God. Unbelievable. I don't know if you played this game back in the day, Marcus. Maybe you can chime in in the comments. I just, I can't believe this game is not only running on my modern PC, but it's running just absolutely incredible. So when you download the, the ISO file, you can see the lighting there as well on the road. Uh, the, the ISO file is uh, rigged up to, to run the 3DFX files as well. And it's all decked out and pimped out to be able to run like this on a, uh, on a modern PC. You couldn't just rip the files from the disc and get it to run like this. Believe me, I tried. So you can see the green lighting on the road there. Cops again, just absolutely relent relentless. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys enjoy the rest of the, of the footage. And uh, again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any further questions regarding this, uh, leave it in the comments below. I'm going to try to get my, st my steering wheel running with this game as well. I'm going to see if it's possible to rig that up. Anyways, guys, this has been a blast. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the footage. Talk to you later.
just don't seem to 